We have our second leg against Inter Milan, going straight into the Copa del Rey final. Two pretty tasty games. Two opponents on vastly different scales. But hopefully both the same result. Welcome back. Barcelona, the beautiful Barcelona, rebuild, if we're still calling it that, episode 31, we have Inter Milan, we've played the first leg, it went pretty well, we then got after that our final against Ibar, who are in the division below ourselves, we'll have a little check to see how they're doing in that division, so they're currently 8th, so they are just outside the uh, playoff places, so they're not doing particularly well in that division, and our B team, uh, are two, 19 points ahead of them. So I should like to think that if our B team are, are slapping them on the regs, then we'll do the same. Since the previous episode, we've only played a handful of games, but we've had positive results in almost all of them. Before I run through them in a little bit more depth, you're welcome to read through while I'm saying. If you could do me the favour of liking, subscribing, show your support on the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. We played Real Madrid at the uh, Bernabeu as well. We beat them 5-1. We just did. Slapped them. Didn't have a clue what was going on. Five minutes in, we were 2-0 up. Bullied, they were. We followed that up with a 5-0 win against Osasuna. And then the first leg of the game against Inter. We beat them 3-0 at the Giuseppe Miazza. They didn't know what was going on. They're just not very good. If you want to see a good Inter Milan team, and one that's been managed competently, then please go over to my friend's channel. Andrew plays. I'll scoot him up here if I uh, if if I remember. <laughs> but now he's doing very good. We followed that up with a uh, a one one against Alaves. Wasn't the best. I tried to fully rotate the squad. Didn't really work. Uh, we scored a nice goal with Keiki from a corner, and then they scored a pretty audacious goal as well. Uh, do you know what? I wouldn't normally show you, but I feel like I have to. And we had a goal disallowed, but he was offside, so there's no real contention really in that but their goal they scored was just a bit daft he scored a header from also almost outside the area so Riaka's heading down their left side puts it back to Duarte who just launches it forward and De La Fuente who used to play for us scored a header on the edge of the area we have Inter Milan now so we'll go into that we'll see if there's any changes that we want to make I don't believe there are so it's got us with Simon, Porro, Araujo, Keiki and Teo as the back four De Jong behind Pedri and Tonali and then Kane supporting Sesco and Haaland up top. The only change I'm going to make, I'm going to take Pedri out. We'll whack Messi in. Why the hell not? We have pretty strong form and a pretty nice team. You've just seen it. I've just shown you. Inter Milan are coming in with really poor form, actually. And a pretty negative formation. They do have Lautaro and Odson Edouard up top. So it seems that he's one of the strong strikers again this year. He seems to fluctuate. Like, one year is good. Next year is a bit naff. Next year is really good. So I'm assuming on uh, FM 2023, it will probably be with Woking after two years. Poro puts in across the back post. And Dragovski makes... Uh, do you know what? The save was quite basic, but he held it quite well. So we'll give him that. Uh, it's nodded away by Keiki. He's not letting them have him possession. Not interested in it. Back to Araujo. And Poro has it out on the right again. Tonali and Poro. You've got men just making themselves available all the time. I'm a big fan. Messi out to Teo. Haaland, is uh, is he making the run? No, he doesn't need to. Teo's got into the area. And Dragovski has made a really strong save. Corner. Porro. Towards the near post. And it's headed away by Bastoni. Teo picks it up. Gets himself into the area again. Puts it back to Porro. Barp. Is that onside? I don't think it is. Haaland was completely unmarked. If it is onside, then... Their defenders need to give their heads a wobble, but I don't think he will be. What are you saying, ref? Um, it's given. <laughs> he is. Right, so let's keep an eye on Haaland here. Um, yeah, they've got five defenders in the six-yard box, and they've managed to leave Haaland completely unmarked. Shocking. Hilarious, but shocking. What are they doing? Everyone's got their back to him. They're all following the ball. 
like they're a Sunday league team or a bunch of kids. Dragovsky with a goal kick launches it up towards Lotaro. Uh, Araujo just completely misjudges the ball. And fortunately, Lotaro just smashes it wide. Uh, Bayern and Chelsea are nil nil. Uh, and from their first leg, it was also nil nil by the looks of that. So we'll keep our eyes over there because that's the team that we'll be playing in the next round. Messi's gone for a free kick. It's pulled out a brilliant save from the goalkeeper by the looks of that. And we've got the corner. So Teo is putting it in. He's injured. And he did Bastoni again getting the header away. I did look at the sign in Bastoni, but they wanted 115 million for him. So needless to say, that was a no. Just past half an hour, we have a throw in. Teo just launches it. Haaland, oh, <laughs> it goes over somehow. He won the header, like on the post. He could have just not touched it almost and just like kind of just shuffled it in. Another throw in. But Teo once more. Uh, Messi gets dispossessed by Brozovic, Ricardo, and Eduard on the ball. Uh, Inter are looking to attack down this right side. They do have four goals to try and come back. And that was the first one of them. I didn't catch who that was. Is, it, is that Ahmad Triore? Is it the one that was at uh, Manu? But either way, they've. Uh, it's a pretty good goal, to be fair. Good ball up here from uh, Eduard. Sorry, uh, Ricardo. The defence all got sucked out. Uh, goalie should really have done a little bit better with that, to be honest. Second half. We have a highlight from kickoff. De Jong, Tonali. If we can get ourselves back in the lead nice and early in this second half, pretty good. Tonali's just ran straight into the area, put it over towards Haaland, who didn't win the header, unfortunately. De Jong, Porro, gets himself out on that right-hand side, puts in another ball, and Dragovski does head it away. We've still got possession, though. Messi, Teo. Might take Teo off in a minute if I've still got Grimaldo knocking about. Because I don't particularly want to lose him. Because he's a very good player. Quite important for me in the next uh, few things. I do have Grimaldo. You know what? Can I bring him on from this menu? Let's have a look. I don't think I've ever done it from here. Uh, sub off. Grimaldo. I'm going to concede while I'm doing this. Of course I am. Grimaldo's coming on. And Edward's just scored. It's going to be pretty awkward if we don't win this now, isn't it? I really hope we don't manage to throw this away and not get <laughs> not qualify from this. We're at home, please. Who would have ever seen Barcelona throwing away like a three goal lead in a European trophy? It's not even that. It was a four goal lead. Shocking. Brozovic out to Ricardo on the right hand side. Okay, I'm getting very nervous now. Puss it back to Brozovic. There's 57 minutes on the clock. He smashed it at our defender's face. We're breaking. This is what we want to see. So now we've got what a three on four break. Haaland's got past his man. He scored. Ref's running away. It's number 56 for him for the season. 56? Kane does well here, runs through. Haaland just, just, just casually just runs past his centre-back. I'm not sure who it is, because it won't let me click on him. De Vries. He just got caught in no man's land. Shocking. We have passed the hour mark now, so we're going to make some subs. Uh, Grimaldo is also injured. Who's their right winger? Because he's absolutely clattering our players. Going to bring on Eric Garcia for KK because he's booked, and I don't want to lose him. Uh, Messi can come out for Pedri. Porro has immediately picked up an injury. I've dropped Frankie back. I am... Well, I have got him out at right back at the moment, but there's no one else really that can cover that, so he's just going to have to play out there and just kind of deal with it. Bit concerned that Grimaldo's also going to pick up an injury. Uh, I've had to drop Kane into the centre of... Well, centre attacking mid. We've moved... The two strikers, Sesco is now a complete forward on support, and our centre mids are deep line playmaker on defend and a box to box mid. Hopefully, there's still enough there for us to keep strength out. There's 12 minutes left for them to just not score three goals. Pretty pretty poor if they do, because we'll be battered and losing morale, which is not a good combination. Haaland, he nearly he nearly snuck another one in. It's just a bit good. I am going to start wasting time. Um, just because with the injuries and the importance of the game, I'd rather just get it done, to be honest. Just not have to wait or worry about it. It seems to be doing what it needs to do. As soon as I said that, a highlight arrives. Why did I speak? Dragovsky sends it forward. Edward has said it nodded over towards him. And Simon's made a decent save. So, there's what, two and a half minutes left of allocated time. You've obviously then got injury time on top of that, which is probably going to be a few minutes because we've picked up an actual injury. But hopefully it's just going to be done. End this highlight, nice and friendly. 
and then it's all it's all good. Happy days. Ricardo has the ball out on the right for Inter though. Grimaldo's intercepted it. Pedri and Haaland. Back into Grimaldo and he's just passed possession away. He's not supposed to be doing that. Edward's in against us again in the area. Ricardo into Traore in the middle and out to Christensen on the right wing. Good ball across. Eduardo snuck it in for his seventh goal of the season. He had five before this game. My striker had 55, and yet he scored more. Shocking. Let's not watch this again. Okay, let's watch it. It's just, your man here just completely loses him, and then just some acrobatic madness, and it almost goes through Simon. Bit disappointing for us to lose on the night. Oh, never mind. Tonali puts in the cross. Ah, oh, Eric's header. Well, he doesn't manage to get the header off. Uh, Grimaldo out on the left. Pedri. Thought he was going to try and bend one in. Back to Grimaldo. Puts it in. Sesco. He <laughs> scored. Uh, in case anyone's adding up, uh, that was Sesco's 32nd. Haaland scored his 56th earlier. They have 86, 88 goals between them. 88 goals? <laughs> Between two people? They're good. I'm just a fan. Harry Kane's all right, but he's not Sesco or Haaland. The deed is done. We shall play Bayern Munich once more this season. They beat Chelsea 1-0. So if I believe, if I remember rightly, they had the better of us over the two legs, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't convincing. So the first game they beat us 4-1. And the following game, we beat them 3-2. But there was a late goal from them, if I remember. So we can beat them, but we can also lose. So be interesting to see how those two legs go. We will go into now the game against Ibar. And uh, hopefully we'll see ourselves, our little men doing celebrating. Cartwheel, funny dance, the whole shebang. We have now the final. Playing against Ibar, we should... Be, uh, be, be strong enough to get past these. I don't know if I can find out where the game's been played. I think I'm just going to kind of scoot through and then just eventually find out. Uh, I'm going to play a relatively weakened team. Our next game is against Cadiz in the league, so that's not really too much of a concern as well, which is good. Left-back-wise, we have Teo, who is suspended, Grimaldo, who's injured, and Alba, who's very old. Right back wise, we have Porro, who's injured, and uh, Sergio Roberto, who's actually quite good. He just wasn't on the bench. Centre backs will play Quates and Keiki. Holding mid, we have Frankie with Tonali and Mariba in front of him. And then up top, it gives us Fatty, Kane, and Haaland. But I'm putting Sesco in because he's played really well to get us there. And I'll just take him out a little bit early if needs be because uh, why the hell not? I bar. They've only just won their most recent game, and they're playing a 5-2-3, is that? Or a 5-2-2-1? Not sure. We have a tried and trusted 4-3-3. I know I said I was going to play a weakened team and then proceeded to pick the strongest team possible. But it's, you should realise by now I don't do things that I say. The Young somehow managed to win a header at the back post, but he's put it over. Just coming up towards 15 minutes in, another cross. It ended up in the net. Refs getting involved. Not sure why. But we had a free kick over on the right-hand side. Haaland won the original header, which um, I think the goalie saved, or he nodded it across. Kane then had a header inside the six-yard box, which hit the post. And then Sesco scored. So we all got there eventually. It's a big team effort between the three strikers. Leaving a bit of work for uh, Ibar to do, to overthrow Barcelona. But I, I would never put it past the game to make them capable of doing so. Uh, Leque puts it to Munoz, and then Raylo. We have now got the ball back. Tonali in the middle of the park. Over to Roberto. Puts it full to Sesco. Brings it down brilliantly. Back to Tonali and then out to Roberto on the right again. He's got a man available. Puts it to... Oh, <laughs> I forgot how to speak. Haaland's nodded it back to Kane again. Who's got his seventh? Well done, lad. That's 89. 96 goals between the three of them. With Kane contributing seven. Admittedly, he only came in in January. But he's not really pulling his weight, is he? The goalie had, goalie had some sort of a, a seizure on that, but couldn't stop us scoring, could he? Roberto throws it short to Sesco. Turns on it, keeps possession, and has the ball knocked through to him. He has Haaland on the back post. Penalty spot. 
and he's been kicked by the looks of that, but the ref's not involved. He's took a tumble. It's fine. Balde, Mariba, Kane. Good ball out to Roberto on the right-hand side. Cross straight across. Haaland hasn't got Kane to nod back to there, so we had to have a shot. About 10 minutes left of the half now. It's all looking quite good, so I'm going to drop some praise on the boys. See, here's some little green faces at the bottom. And Roberto's got a throw in. Puts it to Tonali, crosses it to the back post. De Jong, back to Haaland this time. And it's in for his 56th. Did he have his goal disallowed early when he scored his 56th? Or am I just, are my eyes just not working properly? Cantero, with a goal kick for Ibar. Launched it straight down the middle. Keiki wins the header. But they've still got a possession. Rabba, Quartes makes an interception. Back with Glauder. And a decent save from Simon. Balde, I was going to say collects the loose ball, but he doesn't collect anything. He just launches it at someone in the crowd. Just coming up towards half time. Uh, there was another highlight. Ibar working the ball down that right hand side. I was going to say they're doing okay with it, but just a hopeful pass over the top. And we've got possession. We're going to score, aren't we? We just are. Balde. Um, I nearly said gets past his man. He doesn't. He just kind of runs near his man. Sesco's in. Ooh, he was in. Good save from Cantero at the near poster. Second half. De Jong with a deep free kick towards Haaland. And it's headed away by Raylo. And Rabba picks up the loose ball, actually. And he has got five players in front of him, though, to try and get past. He's heading out to the corner flag. They don't seem to have any bodies in the middle. But he gets it back to Lekwe. To Javi Munoz. And then back to Lekwe. Tonali makes the interception. Gets ball back in our possession. And Sesco's throwing goal. Where did that come from? And Cantero's made a save once more. Roberto, ball out on the right, throws it into De Jong. Gets possession back and just belts it down the right side. Tonali has it now. Over to Mariba. He's got Haaland in front of him, who didn't seem to want to make a run. Sesco did. However, I do fear that he else offside. What are you saying then, Mr. Ref, with your, with your lovely grey shirt on? He's, uh, he's disallowed it. It's a stupid colour of grey anyway. So we're almost an hour gone. We'll wait for this highlight to finish, and I'm thinking I'll take Sesco off just so he doesn't just collapse or fall apart. Uh, they had a header just over, and I'm going to do that sub now. So we'll take off Sesco for Fatty. We'll put him into the deep line forward role, and we'll push Kane forward. Uh, I do have Frankie as well, so we'll take him off for Nico. And I'll do likewise with Keiki for Araujo. Into the last 15. Tonali with the corner towards the back post. Araujo has got his name on the spreadsheet. That's it's not a spreadsheet. It's a score sheet. I've got I've done too much Excel at work today. I think that's what my problem is. Cracking header, nonetheless. He's uh, he's he's a dominant force. He's Araujo, but he's scored roughly half the goals of Keiki, considering he plays considerably more as well. Clock seems to be running away now. As soon as I speak, we have a highlight. Last minute of the game. Balde. There's a four nil lead for us at the moment. It's going to take something pretty magical from Ibar to uh, to beat us. Tonali, Roberto. We are not far from the La Liga title. Um, I think there's two or three games left. Haaland's just got himself a goal at the back post, which is his 58th. So I think the one that he scored earlier must have been his 57th, unless that was his hat-trick. Yeah, it's going well. Uh, La Liga, I don't know if I'll be able to confirm it with one of the buy-in games, but I'm thinking I'm just going to come back next episode with both legs of the Bayern game, because realistically the league's done now. Um, and I'll just tell you if and when we've, when we've won the league. But talking about winning things, we've just won the cup. So we've got the Super Copper, Copa del Rey, chasing the league, maybe the Champions League. So we, we're still on for a quadruple at the moment. Pretty, pretty good. Definitely better than last year, because we've actually seen some silverware. It's, uh, it's happy days. I think this is the first time we've picked up the Copa del Rey. I may be wrong. But uh, as I said, this is what I wanted to see. Celebrations, funky dances, and now a cartwheel. Thank you, number 20. Right on cue. Happy days. For those of you that wanted to see the stats, I'll pop you on this screen for a sec. Harlan picked up a 9.9 .9 and only a brace. So if that was his 58th goal, his first one must have been his 57th. Yet they told me it was his 56th. They're lying to me. So as I said, we'll be back next episode with home and away legs against Bayern Munich. And hopefully some more smiley faces. I hope you'll be there for that. 
And if you are so, and you're enjoying how it's going, then do me a favor, like and subscribe, and show me the support on the channel, would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, there's some items on screen now you can go to if needs be. There's even the little button that you can click to subscribe just to save you a little bit of time. <laughs> Talking about your time, thank you very much for it.